Hi, it's Katrina. Antarctica is home to the coldest and most unexplored terrain on Earth. From ancient space dust to a lost airplane, here are eight mysterious discoveries in the Antarctic ice. We just keep finding more. Number 8. Space Dust this was kind of a surprise, at least to me. Turns out that space dust from a supernova was found hiding in Antarctica. A recently published study revealed that cosmic dust found in Antarctic snow probably originated millions of years ago, maybe billions, in a distant supernova then traveled through space over who knows how long and then ended up on Earth, frozen for us to discover. The dust contains iron-60, an iron isotope which is common in supernovas but rarely found on Earth. Scientists analyzed over 1,100 pounds of Antarctic surface snow in their search for the space dust. The snow was gathered from a high-altitude region near the German Konin Station, where it was unlikely to be contaminated by terrestrial dust. The frozen snow was shipped to a lab in Munich, where staff melted it and separated dust particles that might contain space material. While examining the dust, the scientists discovered the rare Iron-60 isotope. Their next step was to determine if it really came from an ancient supernova and wasn't just some sort of Earth leftovers. Turns out, any Iron-60 that may have been present on Earth during the planet's infancy would have decayed long ago. Iron-60 may have been created and dispersed throughout the globe via nuclear bomb testing, but in much lower quantities than were found in the Antarctic snow. Even serious nuclear accidents, such as the 2009 Fukushima disaster, produced far less Iron-60 than was found in the snow. The researchers also ruled out the possibility that the dust originated from somewhere within our solar system. Until this recent discovery, Iron-60 had only ever been found on Earth in deep-sea deposits and rocks originating from space. By process of elimination, the team concluded that the Iron-60 they found was from an ancient cosmic supernova. Their findings were published in the August 12th edition of the journal Physical Review Letters. Number 7. Elongated Skulls Since 2014, rumors have swirled regarding the alleged discovery of three bizarre elongated skulls by archaeologists in an Antarctic region called La Paille. Team leader Damien Waters, who was reportedly working for the Smithsonian Institute in New York, supposedly stated after the discovery that he kept having to pinch himself to believe it was real, and that finding the ancient misshapen skulls will redefine our view of mankind's history as a whole. Some people believed that the skulls belonged to members of a prehistoric civilization, while others wondered if they were alien remains. But to many, something about the story just didn't add up. Elongated skulls have been found in various other parts of the world, but they date back to long before the first known human arrival to Antarctica in 1820. That far back in time, people lacked the maritime technology to be able to get to the bottom of the world and survive. Those who had the presence of mind to fact-check instead of automatically believing the story discovered that there is no region of Antarctica called La Paille. The only mentionings they could find of an archaeologist named Damien Waters, who is employed by the Smithsonian Institute, were in the articles attempting to pass the sensational story off as true. The story was clearly a hoax, but not surprisingly, it succeeded in gaining a supportive following of conspiracy theorists. Whoever concocted the tale probably got a good laugh out of the hype, but people still wonder what crazy things are really hidden in the ice. Number 6. Bacteria in 2014, scientists announced the discovery of microbes in a subglacial lake buried a half mile beneath the West Antarctic ice sheet. The microbes were extracted from Lake Willens, a 6-foot-deep, 20-square-mile water body that is kept liquid by heat from the bedrock underneath and friction from glaciers moving over the bedrock. Similar samples were previously taken from a different Antarctic lake, but were contaminated and therefore unreliable. To avoid that problem, the researchers who made the 2014 discovery used careful drilling techniques. Their findings, which were published in the journal Nature, identified 4,000 distinct species or groups of species with similar characteristics, called operational taxonomic units. These organisms are chemoautotrophs, meaning they derive their energy from minerals dissolved in the water, such as nitrates, iron, and sulfur compounds, rather than from sunlight. In recent years, scientists have made numerous discoveries proving that certain organisms can survive in environments they previously thought were incapable of harboring life, such as ice caves in Greenland, superheated water on the ocean floor, and in the case of the Antarctic microbes, in the absence of light and organic food sources. For astrobiologists who search for life in space and on other planets, these landmark discoveries beg the question of whether there are life-sustaining environments in extraterrestrial places once dismissed by scientists as uninhabitable. 
And now for number five, but first, be sure to subscribe if you are new here and let me know what videos you'd like to see in the comments below. And a quick shout out to some of you who left some really nice comments. Number five, an airplane. On New Year's Day 2010, an Antarctic expedition found the remains of the first airplane that ever traveled to the continent along an icy shore. The single propeller Vickers plane was entombed in ice for nearly a century and was last spotted during an unusually low tide in 1975 before being rediscovered in 2010. It was abandoned in 1914 at Cape Denison by its owner, Australian explorer Douglas Mawson, after its engine seized up. The team of Australian explorers that found the plane had been searching for it for three painstaking years. A team member named Mark Farrell noticed metal among the rocks in just a few inches of water as he walked along the shore. It was the plane's fuselage, and the team had a blue moon, a record low tide, and melting ice to thank for its unexpected appearance. It was probably one chance in a million that these conditions just allowed us to spot it, team leader David Jensen said of the discovery. Number 4. Fossilized Forestry On numerous occasions, scientists have found evidence indicating that Antarctica was once covered in forests and lush greenery. In late 2016, a team of researchers led by John Isbell and Eric Gulbranson of the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee uncovered 13 fossil fragments from trees dating back 260 million years, around the time of Earth's greatest mass extinction event. At the time, the world was much hotter and more humid than it currently is. The prehistoric plants found by the researchers were extremely resilient, adjusting quickly to seasonal changes and enduring entire winters of darkness, followed by months of constant sunlight. A 2012 study led by biogeochemist Sarah Fekins at the University of Southern California examined numerous leaf wax remains and sediment cores taken from deep beneath Antarctica's Ross Ice Shelf. The remnants dated back between 15 and 20 million years, suggesting that Antarctica was even warmer during that period than previously thought. By then, the ice sheets had formed and it was pretty darn cold there, but a typical summer day would have been around 45 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees warmer than scientists originally believed. In fact, research shows that for the majority of the last 100 million years, Antarctica was green and full of wildlife, even a tropical paradise at times. It's just difficult to imagine from a modern viewpoint, since the Antarctica we know is covered in a two-mile-thick ice cap, prone to week-long blizzards, and has an average winter temperature of minus 56.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 3. Century-Old Scotch in 2010, a lucky search team unearthed three crates of rare 19th century McKinley whiskey from beneath the floorboards of Antarctic explorer Ernest Shackleton's abandoned base. Shackleton used the hut during the 1907 British Antarctic Expedition. For 102 years after he abandoned the base, the crate sat frozen. The scotch was not frozen, however, despite the near-constant freezing temperatures it sat in for over a century. The expedition to find the scotch was launched jointly between White and McKay, the owner of the McKinley distillery that sold the scotch to Shackleton and the New Zealand Antarctic Heritage Trust. The owner of White and McKay flew the precious cargo to Scotland in a chartered jet to pursue and hopefully replicate its long-lost recipe. In 2013, the whiskey was flown back to Antarctica and returned to its original resting place beneath Shackleton's shack as part of a program to preserve the legacy of the era of Antarctic exploration, which lasted from 1898 to 1915. If you want a good whiskey, you know where to go. Definitely Scotland. Much easier than getting to Antarctica. Number 2. A Mountain Range During the mid-1990s, Russian explorers noticed strange gravity fluctuations coming from beneath the Antarctic ice. Later studies revealed a large mountain range buried underneath three miles of ice. The Gambertsev Mountains, as the range was named, is comparable to the Alps in terms of size, with its highest peaks rising around 15,000 feet. A 2011 study published in the journal Nature revealed that the Gambertsev Mountains are likely part of a rift formed by the separation of tectonic plates. At one time, the mountain range extended for 1,800 miles. Scientists believe it may have formed 250 million years ago during the breakup of the supercontinent Gondwana. Researchers flew over the Gambertsev Mountains with radar and took magnetic and gravitational readings. They discovered that the current mountains sit atop what appears to be an even older range, which was likely formed a little over over a billion years ago. The mountains were encased in ice when the Antarctic ice sheet began forming around 34 million years ago, where they remain today in a deep freeze, protected from erosion. Number 1. A Lake 
During the 1960s, a Russian pilot flying over East Antarctica noticed a large, smooth patch of ice, suggesting the presence of a large lake underneath. The existence of the lake was confirmed in 1996 by American and British researchers through airborne radar experiments. Lake Vostok is 143 miles long, 31 miles wide, and up to 2,625 feet deep. It's one of the largest lakes on Earth in terms of size and volume, and is the biggest out of 400 subglacial lakes in Antarctica. The lake is much shallower on one end than the other, researchers discovered while mapping it with remote sensing techniques such as seismic soundings. Two basins are separated by a ridge, which scientists believe may be a thermal vent. The lake is liquid despite having a below freezing temperature of 27 degrees due to the weight of the overlying ice. Lake Vostok's age is unknown, but its waters remained sealed off and undisturbed by sunlight for around 15 million years before it was accessed by a Russian drilling team in 2011. The perfect conditions for creating a whole undiscovered world on our planet. Over 3,500 species were ultimately identified in Lake Vostok through DNA and RNA sequencing, including bacteria, fungi, and single-celled organisms called archaea. Scientists found both fresh and saltwater species, indicating that the lake may have once been connected to the ocean before being supplied by glacier water. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already! Let me know what discovery surprised you the most. I'll see you next time. Bye!